Hello, welcome to my floss tube number three. So it looks like I'm gonna be doing these about every other week or so. So I have whips and haul for about the past two weeks. So I'm really excited to share with you what I've been working on. And I am a little, been a little haul crazy. If you can think about like anytime you've picked up a new passion or hobby, even though this isn't new for me, finding all these amazing indie designers is new for me. So it's like when I first got into indie polish, kind of like that. So I've been just like wanting to try a little bit of everything and um, keep in mind when you watch this, this is over the past couple weeks. I know I'm, I've been going a little bit crazy, but Hope you have some fun hanging out with me today. If you're new to my channel, I hope you subscribe. I do floss tube videos, like I said, about every other week, but the majority of the videos on this channel are nail polish related. If you wanna see what that's about, stick around, maybe be bop around a few of the other videos that I've uploaded recently on my channel and you can see what the majority of this channel is devoted to. Okay, so we're gonna start with my whips or my work in progress works in progress and I think I have like four or five because this is over the past two weeks I tend to enjoy working on something for about three days ish and then I kind of move on to the next thing also because I have been hauling a lot of things and discovering a lot of new designers I have the itch to start a lot of new things so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I have some close-ups here of the projects that I've been working on. I'm gonna start with something that I actually just kind of finished. This isn't a final finish or anything. And if you don't want to see, like if you're planning on doing the under the sea stitch along, that's like a mystery stitch along with the frosted pumpkin stitchery. Um, I'll put on the screen here when you can skip to if you don't want to see anything about like the first clue because I finished the whole first clue and so I want to show you what it looks like how much I've done so far. Alright so here's how far I am on the under the sea stitch along. Hopefully if you didn't want to see what the first clue was you um, have fast forwarded and I'm not spoiling anything for you but this one is really really cute really fun and easy and I completed the back stitching for this portion when I finished stitching it I usually do back stitching at the very end of everything but I decided to just complete the portion as it was so there's the first whip so that's actually the most recent whip that I have I finished that one up and I'm ready to start a new project um, but I'm really, really enjoying the frosted pumpkin stitchery stitch alongs, mystery stitch alongs. In fact, the other one that I have been enjoying is their little red riding hood. I ha I joined that after there were already at like two clues out. And then since I joined it, there's been two more clues. So I'm definitely behind on that. On the under the sea one, I'm caught up and ready for the April 25th release. But with the little red riding hood, I have a ways to go to catch up, which I probably will now. So I'm going to show you that now. Here's where I am on the Little Red Riding Hood, again from Frosted Pumpkin. And I'm not that much farther than where I was when I last showed you, but it's a little bit. So I'm just giving you an update. I just love this material so, so, so much. So anyway, there's that. All right, the next project is a new start and I did get a little bit done on it. It is a um, kind of seaside oceany vibe that I want to put in the guest bathroom and I actually didn't even show you guys this project because I forgot about it um, in my recent video so I didn't show it as a haul so I'm going to show you my progress on it now and show you what the finished project is supposed to look like. Here's this nautical themed uh, design. This is where I'm at so far. I've almost completed the um, this little pocket of it and then I as you can see have done a little bit down at this edge. I can't at this moment remember how big this design is. I feel like I probably centered this in the middle of the page. So I'm really enjoying that. I love the color scheme here. I really enjoy the color of the um, Ada that I'm sewing it on too. So excited to pick that back up probably this next week. Okay, so I have another new start for you. Last week I showed you in my haul, um, I had purchased 
some PDF downloads from an Etsy shop um, where all the stuff will be linked down below if you're interested in it. Um, where they're like tiny masterpieces. So I had purchased like maybe six or seven and I hadn't decided which one I was going to do, but I decided to start with Van Gogh Starry Night. And so I wanna show you my progress on this. This could have just been a full finish this week. I probably could have get, got this done if I just um, designated like three solid nights to it, but I didn't. I was too excited to start something else. So here's what I've done so far. As you can see, I could finish this up probably in a night and a half. I get kind of distracted as I've mentioned in other videos. I am not a fast stitcher, so some of you are thinking, oh yeah, I could finish that in like an hour. Well, not me. So we'll see. I'll probably finish this this week. Okay, so as I mentioned, I did work more on the European Bistro Dimensions Kit. Um, so last video, I had only done like the first five blocks here. And then since then, I went all the way over here. Honestly, I, w I stitched a lot while I was watching um, The Ultimatum on Netflix, which I don't really recommend. I didn't end up liking it that much. But so, that's how far I've gotten. I've almost gotten to the end of one whole row. I think it goes over to here. So I will probably be working on this a little bit for every video. Um, so I'm excited about that. It's going better. I still don't love the Q-snap but I'm getting the hang of it more. And in fact, I've been stitching it upside down so that work, the work's right next to me. So there's your update on that. All right, so those are my whips. Now I want to talk about a haul. So this first thing that I purchased at some point in the last couple weeks, I kind of giggled at when it got here because I didn't expect it to look like this. So I don't know if you are like me and you've been getting a lot of ads for Tapestry Market on Instagram and Facebook, but they are pushing their content hard and because the price point was pretty low I decided to just try something and see like if I liked it anyway I knew when I purchased the two things that I got that they had said they're not counted cross stitch like the design is printed for you on the material and it's like a much stiffer material and because it's printed I think I might actually give these to Honor. She might, both of my girls have tried cross stitch and they don't, neither of them has like taken to it like I did when I was a kid and been like, oh yes, this is for me. Um, but maybe with a printed piece, they would have a little bit less difficulty. So I'm gonna show you the two things that I got. Okay, so here's one of the things. It is in a very crinkly bag, so sorry about that. I am a Harry Potter fan, so this one looked fun for me. I'm gonna open it up right now. So it comes with this big chonky thing of thread, which is nice. It's already on this here, so I won't have to create all new um, floss drops for it or anything. So here's all the thread. Then it's got two needles sticking in over here. And then it's got the design. And then this is the printed piece. So it's printed all this I think it's going to be a fully stitched piece. I think you're meant to actually no. Well, yeah, I think this is all supposed to be black outside. So I think it's a, like a full printed thing. So I'm really wondering if my daughter might like this. Like I said, it's a really rough, like it's not a very delightful feel to it, but I was worried that this was bigger. So I'm actually glad that this isn't really that, that big. And it has the legend here for her on the side. So I don't know, I'm wondering if she might actually like that or if it could be like a team project that we work on together. The other design I got looks like this. I'm not gonna open it up right now cause since you know kind of like what these kits look like when you get them in case you've been intrigued by it. Um, so it looks like this. I was thinking this might be fun to commemorate Tim and I's 10th anniversary trip that we took which is actually our honeymoon trip and our 12th anniversary all in one. Um, so anyway, if I start this, I'll be opening it and you'll see it. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I've been wanting to try little projects from a bunch of different popular designers, the ones that you hear absolutely everybody talk about. And I feel like if I try a little bit from a number of different designers, I can really figure out what my taste is. I know I love the Tiny Modernist. I know I love Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. And you can tell by those two things that I like a more like playful, almost like cartoony look. I don't really think that I'm that into primitive, but I do have that one Halloween design from the primitive hair, which I am 
I'm waiting for the specific fabric that that's designed for to get here before I start that. So anyway, I picked up two little things from Lizzie Kate on eBay. So I wanna show you these. These are the two Lizzie Kate kits that I got from, actually this one's not a kit, but you do get the little button in there. These are the two Lizzie Kate patterns that I got from eBay. So we have Naughty or Nice, and we have There's No Place Like Home for the Holidays. Um, another artist that I wanted to try was Sue Hillis. I hear a lot of people talking about this designer and she has this super cute piece that I'm going to show you that I'm excited to stitch for the kitchen. Here's the Sue Hillis that I'm going to start on. It says, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap, stay safe, eat cake. Super cheeky, love that. I snagged a couple more things from Tiny Modernist because I just can't help myself. And also, like I mentioned before, please keep in mind these are purchased like over the period of about two and a half weeks. So I didn't snag all this stuff at the same time, but still, I have no excuses. Um, I loved their Halloween, or am loving their Halloween calendar so much that I decided to get their Christmas calendar. Here's what it looks like. Here's the first two Tiny Modernist um, designs that I was talking about. So firstly, I mentioned that I picked up their Christmas calendar. Really, really excited for that since I know how much fun those little motifs are. Super recommend this if you haven't tried Tiny Modernist yet. Those are really fun. The Halloween one is, I think, even more fun. And then I got these Christmas signs that are really, really cute. I don't know how soon I'll be doing these since I already started a Tiny Modernist project, but cute. And then I saw somebody's completed work of the Flag of Stars by Bent Creek. I haven't tried Bent Creek yet, so this came as a whole kit and I wanted to give it a try. This has some different kind of floss that I've never tried before, so that will be interesting. Here's what the Flag of Stars kit looks like from Bent Creek. I just think that's really beautiful and I didn't really have any other um, Independence Day projects so um and here's the back it comes with all of this stuff i purchased a few digital downloads this week as well so i'm going to show you those here all right so this is the first of the digital downloads that i purchased this is from the etsy shop soda stitch design and this one is called superhero gnome cross stitch pattern. Here's another one that I purchased from the, the same shop. This is wedding, it just says wedding cross stitch pattern. Um, but I thought that was really romantic and sweet and I just got that one for a just in case I ever need it kind of thing. And then this is the third pattern that I got from the same shop. All links will be down in the description bar below. And the website, this shop was having a 20% discount if you purchased, um, three or more items, so I snagged one more. So then I was at Stitchrovia, and um, I went there specifically for this design. I saw it stitched, and I thought it was really, really beautiful, the colors in this, um, the lettering and everything, so I snagged that, and that one's called Single Step from Stitchrovia. And then this is the next one I picked up. I thought this one would be really fun to stitch. So this one is called Be Inspired Tattoo Style, Believe in yourself, love, luck, hope, trust. I just think that that American classic form of tattoo would be super fun to stitch. Then I also purchased a download of their house rules, which are really, really cute, such as um, if you borrow it, give it back. If you spill it, wipe it. Does it say wipe it up or wipe it? <laughs> if you drop it, pick it up. I just thought this was cute. And it's not a monochromatic piece because of all that pink in there, but other than that, it's just a lot of different shades of blue and I think it's really pretty. And then this is the last one that I purchased. This is Open Your Heart to New Adventures. And I was thinking this one would be fun to hang in the girls' room. So as always, I will link the shops and everything in the description box below. All right, last but not least, I finally did visit an LNS in Utah, somewhere that's not super close for me to be able to go to, like on a regular basis, certainly, but it was close-ish. So I finally got to one during their open hours last weekend, and I wanna show you what I got there. So I went to the Craft Center of Fine Stitchery in Salt Lake, and here's what I got. All right, so as far as what I purchased from the Center of Fine Stitchery, 
So I got one of these rings just because I had yet to try this. So it seems easier than the other kind that I've been using. And as you know, I don't really love the Q-Snap. So I just got a bunch more threads um, just because I am trying to grow my Overdye thread um, stash. So first we have Mint Julep. This next one is Cottage Garden, which is so cute. Then we have nutmeg, super, super yummy. Then we have um, old covered bridge. So some of these are from Classic Colorworks, some are from the Gentle Art. This one is Gentle Art. Something blue from Gentle Art again, so pretty. Um, Simply Shaker, hmm, this one is Onyx. I guess it's from a different brand. Pickled Beets, I love that so much. That's from Classic. This is from the Gentle Arts Storm Clouds, which is very green for storm clouds. Gentle Arts Harvest Moon and the Gentle Arts Sweet Pea. Okay, so a designer that I hadn't tried yet was the Prairie Schooler, so I just picked up one of the Santa designs that I thought was pretty cute. This designer is makes these gorgeous, um, kind of like quilt block looking designs. And so this is Jordan Privé and um, from Patchwork. Printemps, I guess that says. But anyway, this is the kind of like February springish one and I love it. Then I picked up the Autumn Rules from Primrose Cottage Stitches. I think I have one other pattern from this design, um, this brand, but I haven't started it yet. Then from Silver Creek Samplers, we have all of these um, holiday things, Thanksgiving-y, and we have um, Christmas. So it's like Thanksgiving to Christmas is where I could put this one out at. Then this one, I didn't have anything from Shannon Christine Designs, Home for Christmas. So I just love red trucks and flannel. So I thought that was fun. And then I know, more tiny modernists. So this is the Santa's House six part mystery series. So you start with like the outside and then each one of these fills in the little thing. I don't know when I'm gonna start this but I loved it so much. I also took a video of the shop and so I'd like to insert that now so you can take a look at this adorable little LNS.
Alright, so that's it for haul. As far as plans for the next week, I want to finish up that little tiny piece, um, the Van Gogh Starry Night. I'm going to finish that up. I'd like to pick back up both of those two projects that I mentioned earlier, the succulents and the deft design, but I don't know if we'll be able to do both of them. We'll see. I have another event this weekend. Actually, by the time you're watching it, I've already done it, so we'll see how that went. As far as those digital downloads I showed you before, I plan to start on the little gnome one. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope you stop back by for the next one. Like I said, you will probably have another floss tube from me in about two weeks. So enjoy your stitchy journey till then and I will see you back for another video very soon. Bye!